Here is Bernie Sanders again, this time on the final five with Anderson Cooper, which I found very confusing. To say final five during March Madness is weird to me. But maybe that's what they were trying to do, some type of tie-in. But here is uh, Bernie Sanders talking about, uh, again, about um, Israel, because um, yesterday was a big Israel day. You've said that the U.S. should be even-handed when it comes to dealing with the Israelis and the Palestinians. So does that mean that the U.S. should remain neutral to achieve peace? No, what it means is that if we want lasting peace uh, in the Middle East, we have got to obviously make sure that the security uh, and the independence of Israel remains intact. Uh, that is not a debate. Israel must continue to exist as an independent free state. But if we are going to have lasting peace, we have also got to work with the Palestinians. And what that means, we have got to recognize that for in Gaza, for example, in Gaza, you got an unemployment rate of 44 percent. You got people living in horrific poverty. You have a community that was destroyed. So if we are going to go forward, it cannot be that the United States just it takes the side of Israel. We've got to work with both communities to try to do what is very, very difficult, and that is create a lasting peace in the region. Do you think the U.S. has not been even-handed up till now? Right. I do not think so. Uh, I think that uh, overwhelmingly uh, the United States time and time again has looked aside when Israel has done some bad things. Uh, I think, for example, that the growth of settlements in Palestinian territory uh, is not acceptable to me and not conducive uh, to the peace process. Uh, I think that the kind of destruction that was racked on, wrecked on, on uh, Gaza uh, during that war was way above what needed to be done for military purposes. A lot of civilians were killed. Uh, a lot of hospitals and, and schools and, and, and apartments were destroyed above and beyond what had to be done. So look, I think there is no question that there's enough blame to go around on both sides. Uh, Israel has the right to defend itself against terrorist attacks, against Hezbollah, against Hamas. But I think the United States is stronger when we work with both sides. The, what's fascinating to me about this is taking him this long to say this. I mean, this is a very, very strong statement. I, I, I think this is certainly certainly by far the most, um, I don't know how to characterize this. I don't want to say left, but, but yeah, I mean, left of center anyway, statement that we've ever heard by um, a major candidate in a, in a primary um, who was, you know, at, in March still mathematically <laughs> could potentially be the nominee of the Democratic Party. I mean, this is, the statement is, is late, but it is certainly welcome. And um, I can only imagine, I don't know what the calculation of this is. I don't know if it's frankly because maybe Donald Trump opened up some oxygen to the left of Hillary on this, frankly. I don't know. Maybe it's because uh, Sanders uh, feels that in the states going forward, the, he will not be um, uh, punished for being this frank about it. But this is an impressive statement. It's a very important one. And look, you know, this is, this is a guy who's heading into d to do or die time in terms of these primaries, and he does not perceive that as being a political liability um, because he did not shy away from this. I mean, he hit all the points. It's pretty impressive. Hi, I'm Sam Cedar, and this is an Ann Coulter doll. You should not be immigrating here. Yeah. Stay in your country and hate us. For smart progressive talk and a little bit of this and even a little bit of that. Mission accomplished. Subscribe to our podcast, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and like us on Facebook to get some of our best video clips.